that beautiful? Woo! I love this man. Expedition Hawk. Expedition Hawk, man. All right, guys and girls, and welcome to yet another video here from Expedition Hawk. Today's video will be filmed here in my garden, where I have my own hammock poles right here. Some of my subscribers have asked me if I could do a video about the setup process of the Amok Drama hammock and also about some tips and tricks. So I thought I would make a video on exactly that today. So uh, let's get started and uh, put up the hammock here. This right here is a normal 28 liters sized backpack from Osprey. It is the Quasar model and believe it or not, but this backpack right here, right now, contains both my big fluffy mountain equipment, down sleeping bag, the Expert 9 long white, the Amok Drama hammock, pump sack, and the tarp, and even a pillow. Believe it or not, crazy ain't it? And the tips and tricks are starting already now, because if it is a rainy day, or if the weather is changing a lot today, then you would definitely put up your tarp first. I particularly like to put up my hammock first, um, but that's only if the weather is good. So let's pretend right now that it is a rainy day or you don't know how the weather will change. So therefore, we will start by putting up the tarp. And one thing that's very important when you put up your tarp, I learned this from bad experience, that you need to have standing height under your tarp. If you don't, and you have to be standing like this, crouched over uh, under your tarp, you're gonna get tired of it so uh, and that brings me to the next tip you don't need to have it set up at the full angle you can just put up half of it and lay it double I'm gonna show you what I mean another thing is that remember when you're putting up your tarp and your hammock remember to always have the stuff stack here on your right side because that means you've set it up correctly so on the right side remember as I said you want standing height under this. So put this up. I would say do it like this. And as tall as you are here, for me personally, it fits with the top of my fingers right here. Like that. And you can't. I've seen some people when they put up their tarps, they just think, okay, my head is here, so I can put it here. Well, when you're tightening the strings right here, Wow, it's kind of windy today. When you're tightening the strings right here, it's not gonna be that tall. So stand up in your full height, raise your arm, and at the tip of your fingers, that's about where you want to put this. As you can see right here, I put this up at full standing height at the tip of my fingers. But when I'm standing here in the center and I'm putting some tension on the cords as you can see here it's not the same height of course so that's why you need to get it up this high so let's imagine this is one of those days with changing weather and right now the weather is fine what i would do and that's also what i'm doing now to show you this on video it would be much easier to see everything here is that i just take the front of the tarp and then i put it over the ridge line and then I put it over the ridge line right here. I don't know if you can see me over here, but uh, what you do now is you just peg down both of these together. And now look at this. Now I don't have full standing height. And if this happens to you, don't get sad. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Now you've got these pegged down, all of them. So what you're simply just gonna do is you're gonna tighten it up right here. You're gonna give it some more slack here. So this is the first tip I got for you guys. Make sure you have standing height under here or you're really gonna get tired in your back when you're standing like this. So this is a very, very important step in my opinion when you're putting up a tarp for your hammock right here. So next is to set up the hammock. So Let's get it out right here. And as you see here, I don't have my straps 
for the amok inside my amok bag. I like to have them loose like this, but only have them loose if you know where you put your stuff. If you forget where you put it, just keep it in the bag, man. You don't want to lose these. And as you can see here, I always start by putting it up just directly under the cord from the top. And then I can adjust it from there. So next is the Amok Dremel Dramo Trauma Whatever you want to call it Same thing here Make sure that you have the stuff sack here on your right side Then you know you put it up correctly And the sack of course is right here You just take this little buckle here put it through the loop right here boom done you can see right here at the ankle yeah it's pretty much off right here so so now we get into the next tip of the day for using your amok drama as shown earlier in my previous video, I use the XBED 9, the both the downmat and the SINMAT in this hammock right here. And when you need to pump up your sleeping pad, if the ground here is very dirty or if it's wet or snow or whatever, if it's just muddy and all this, you don't want to be sitting on the ground inflating your mat with a hand pump, you know. So this is a good tip for avoiding a situation like that. So what you do is you take your pump bag, your snuzzle bag right here and you take your sin mat right here and remember guys when you take off all these bags right here just put them in one of the bags up here so you know where it is okay guys so what i did right now is that i deflated this mat again because what happened was that my camera stop working while I was talking and yapping on about putting it over the red sign and all this none of you seen it so now I'm gonna do it again and why did this camera stop recording Canon hello Canon what the beep man okay so deflated mat put it over the ridge line right here because I said you don't want it to touch the ground if it's all mushy so just simply put it over the ridge line right here. I'm gonna close the deflate valve and hope I don't have to deflate it again because of this Canon camera. Put on the pump sack here, the snuzzle bag. It sounds German. Is expat German? No, it's Italian. Well, it sounds German, snuzzle bag. And then just pump the sleeping pad up while it is hanging on the wrist line here. And I'm gonna fast forward this guys because you don't need to see the whole pumping process here. So fast forward. All right, fast forward stop. Because as you can see now, starting to get its shape here so let's give it a last pump let it rise up here on the ridge line and then you're done just put your bag in the bag so you don't lose it and now you're ready to go without it even touching the ground one single time but we're gonna put this in here and guys when you're gonna put the pad inside the sleeve here just pull on the fabric here switching from side to side and then you gotta hit a stop here pull up the head end here and then what I do is that I just I know I'm not humping my sleeping pad and I'm not humping my hammer I love it, but I don't love it that much, okay? So, but I take this on the hips right here, pull in both sides of the fabric here, and just slide it in here. And 
then it is done. So, next tip and trick. If you are a luxury camper like myself sometimes, and you don't want to be running around looking for suitable sized and density sticks here, do this. What I have right here, ladies and gentlemen, I give you very thin, slim cable trays. This, I just cut them so they fit here. It works like a charm. Put it in here because they are very flexible. Now we got one there. And let's have. Can you see me over there? And put the other one here in the head end. No problem. And that brings me to the next tip. These straps here. Wow, it's really showing off right now, huh? These straps right here, leave them hanging here because they serve as a water drain. So if you fold them up like here, and it's a very rainy day, the water is gonna come down of these straps here and it's gonna go inside your hammer. So for God's sake, leave them hanging right here. If you want, you can just take a rubber band and put a little stone here then they're gonna hang directly down, no problem, even in windy conditions. So, but I said leave them hanging. And next thing I'm gonna show you is actually some mods I did to this hammock. Let me show you. If you're already a drama owner, you know that when you're inside the hammock here and you wanna take this bungee cord right here and you want it to attach down here in the bottom right here, you will know that this little plastic loop here is a son of a, you know what I mean. So what I did is I just put a ring here from a keychain, which makes it much more easy to catch it right here when you're inside the hammock. Much easier, as you can see here. Next mod I did to this hammock is on the back net. Let me show you here. What I did is I put on one of these in the zipper right here because when you're sitting inside the hammock it can be difficult to reach all the way to the foot end. So this does the trick. Next mod I did is that I actually took some very flexible and thin fuel hose here, which I just bought in a store for auto parts. And what that does is, let me get inside the hammock and I will show you. So now you've got an inside view here and let me show you this, this cord right here. This one, put it over the ridge line, and then it is now much, much easier to catch this ring down here with this one. As you can see right here, boom, now it has it. No problem. And then this zipper mod right here, as you will see in a minute, it just makes it much easier to use it when it's in the foot end. And here comes why I did this fuel holes mod up here at the ridge line. This zipper sometimes snagged in this ridge line. Now, because I have this fuel holes right here, I just take my strap here from the zipper mod, put it over as you can see now it is over this fuel hose and then you just take it here from the inside pull it up pull it down now it doesn't snag at all and now when sitting here and you need to reach the foot end look at this 
you have this strap right here. So what you do is you just put it around this bungee here. Put your feet out in the corners. Much, 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 much easier, if you ask me. And the same goes up here. You just put this keychain strap. And the same goes up here. You just take this keychain strap right here over the fuel hose, and then you just pull. Now you're zipped up. So that's the mods I did on this hammock to make it suit my needs. I think it's much easier like this. The same goes when you need to open it. Take the strap here, put it over the fuel hose, and then just pull it. Pull the strap. Much easier. Put it over the bungee. This bungee here. Don't, don't let it be on the other side here because then it will snag no matter what. But just put it over the bungee here. Tighten the fabric out with your feet. And then just pull it. Same up here. Over the ridge line here. And now you're out. No problem. Okay, so next tip, guys, is that up here in the head end, if you feel that around your head, if you like me, love to sleep with your sleeping pad with a very wide hood, not to get it strapped in, then just place something up here that keeps the heat. What I tend to do is, and this is, of course, if it is in colder periods, which it is, if you need warmth up there i just take my down jacket here peak performance i love this jacket by the way when it's fluffed up then it helps keep the shape of the hood up here also at the same time so okay and next tip guys is that in changing weather or in rainy conditions do not hang your clothes up here over the straps here because if you do believe me this will be wet in the morning I've tried it more than one time I didn't know the first time I forgot the second but now I definitely remember do not put it up here if you have some clothes that need to stay warm until the morning put it over the ridge line here inside the hammock or just use one of the bags here or what I tend to do is that I put it down here at the foot end or the head end so it also gives some insulation so that was the next tip and now the last thing is that a lot of you have asked me what do I think is the easiest way of getting in and out of the hammer well this thing here about bending this down here I know a lot of people do that I don't do that at all because if you have stick pockets like this believe me they will pop out so the easiest way for me is just to come in here from the side push it down here grab a hold here of the fabric same over here and then just slide up here no problem at all and the same thing goes when you're getting out of the hammer just go out to the side here look at this I can even sit here and I can make coffee from here no problem whatsoever so as said in from the side no problem put it down here grab a hold of the fabric here and you're in easy peasy some people say that it's easier to get in and out of the hammock if you have raised the knees up a little the foot end here with these straps and mine is actually raised but let's try it without them being raised everything taken down so now it is in totally flat position I can still sit here let me see if I think it's easier 
with the legs up or not. Nah, it's really the same. So whether you want your head end and your foot end or your knees raised up a little, makes no problem. Doesn't change it at all. Let's see here. Yeah, no problem at all. So as you see, you just need some practice in getting in and out of this, and then it's very easy. Can't get much easier than that, man. So, some of you might say, well, what if you have your sleeping bag in it? How do you get inside your sleeping bag? Let me show you. I said, the little Osprey Quasar here, inside here, is my mountain equipment sleeping bag. And let's give it a go with how to get in and out of your sleeping bag when it's inside the hammock. Let's see here. Put the bag in the bag. So as you see, this is the big mountain equipment glacier expedition sleeping bag. As some of you know, I also did a video about this sleeping bag, which I feel is one of the absolute best sleeping bags at all. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. So. What you do here is when you have your sleeping bag here, put it to the side like this. Open, of course. Just do what I did before. In here. And now, just take your legs inside the sleeping bag first. Well, wait, let me get my shoes off. The shoes ain't going in my bag. So, just get your feet into the foot end first. I did that now. I'm gonna put my feet down a little here so you can see better. And then just make an arc from your heels to your shoulders and take the sleeping bag from under you and just pull it out here. So that's what I'm doing now. Like this. I'm in my sleeping bag. No problem whatsoever. Same goes when you get out. Save it up, take your feet out, pull it to the side here, and then just go out here. No problem. So the last two tips of the day for using the uh, mock drama, the uh, mock drama life, is that when you're out in the woods, find yourself a lock or something, and put it here. Find a lock and put it here, then you have yourself a nice coffee table so you can sit in the sit position in this hammock. Use the table right here. I actually just did that on a trip with one of my friends. We went to Sweden before this corona broke out uh, and then we made lock tables also as you can see on the picture right here. Actually a mock posted this picture also on their Instagram. Go check it out if you'd like. But it's a clever way to just sweeten up your amok drama life yeah so last thing is guys if you have your tarp here in the changing weather conditions as it is right now have your pegs nearby for the tarp so let's say it's starting to rain right now what you would do is just that you would take the front side that's flipped over here and then you would just pull over the top like this and right now, peg it down. So now you are in rainy mode. And as you can see here, I actually have stand height in here now. As you can see here, I have full stand height in here under the tarp in the center. And that, that just makes it so much easier if you're standing in here and you, you want to make coffee under the tarp uh, and you don't want to be sitting down or if you have to fix stuff in here that you can stand up fully that just saves so much strain on your back so 
full stand height on your tarp remember it guys so that was it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if there's something you feel i didn't get to talk about please let me know and please leave me a comment if you like this video even if you don't like it let me know about it and uh, if you haven't already done so please smash that like and subscribe button until next time stay safe go out and enjoy these amazing outdoors see ya